FMU, you're on the air. Hello, Tom. Oh, hello, Spike. Always the or always first one in. I always call early. You like to get in early because you got you got to turn in early, don't you? Oh yes, I mean you know it's uh, a lot of work being in the dungeon. You know. So that's what you call the DMV now. You call it the dungeon. No, I don't work at the DMV. Yeah, I need to uh, get my registration straight on my uh, my uh, tractor trailer. Hello. Truck driver. So, you're into uh, legalizing uh, marijuana? No, I'm not, actually. That would uh, put a uh, dent in my uh, side business. Well, I think it should be legalized. You do? Yes. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, more for medicinal purposes than anything else, than uh, recreation. You you a big pot smoker? No. Actually, I don't do drugs. You only do discipline. I am. You're right. Yes, I and only driver's do discipline. permits. Discipline's my drug. Uh-huh. I don't need crack. I don't need marijuana. I don't need uh, Xavier Hollander. You know. What? I what? don't need crack or marijuana or cocaine or Xavier Hollander. I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know who Xavier Hollander is. Mike just yelled out the happy hooker. Yes. Yeah. And how is that a drug? Well, some people are addicted to sex. Uh huh. That, that that was my point of bringing that. Oh, up. okay. So you're just addicted to discipline and doo wop. Yes. They're the only drugs I need. Are they really? Nobody really gets hurt. Well, trust me, plenty of people get hurt with doo wop. No, 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 they don't. Maybe Jenny from the bedroom. Yes. Maybe with seance. What yeah. would you do all of a sudden? Here's here's a, a dilemma for you. Jay Z announces oh. he's going to uh, he's going to bring back doo wop, and he starts booking these big doo wop tours with the Orioles and the Dell Vikings and all those groups. What do you do then? And he's doing it as a it's a first class operation. Well, I'm no, I'm no fan of JDs, but JD, you're, yo, that's a, that's a bad one. JD, well, JD, yeah. Well, anyway, what the was kitty the kitty cat? You know, kitty, yeah. What I would do, well, Kanye East, you like him? Who? Kanye East? Uh, no, not particularly. So you I'm, got, a fan, I'm a fan of real music. Uh huh. So, so what would you do if Jay Z all of a sudden spearheaded a big doo wop revival tour? Would well, you go? Well, depends on the group. Well, it depends on the group. Well, what if it was the uh, the the Dell Vikings are there? I may go. What I mean, I don't the, have uh, to like Jay Z, but I do like the Dell Vikings. But what if Jay Z's performing with every one of those groups? Oh, then I would puke. I would puke my brains out. I would puke my brains out. What? I mean, I'd rather listen to the theme song, dare I say, to Maud, than to listen to JD sing uh-huh. with anybody or yeah. by himself. Uh huh. So, what's new in the world of Spike? Oh, other than the discipline? Oh, no. No, much. I said, what's new in oh, the what's world? No, well, well. We've been there already. Well, I'm, uh, I'm on my uh, 360th uh, Donut? CD. What's that? I'm on my 360th uh, CD. What what does that mean? Well, I I burn CD. Well, I'm not disciplining you know people. I you know burn CDs of my favorite music. So you have so. Wow, we just found a whole new line of of so I. So you what? Where are you burning them from the internet? No, no. I I take you no. Know, I buy CDs from the store. Uh huh. And I take out the, you know I. Download the songs that I want to, you know, put on CD. Yeah. And I make a CD. And then what do you do with the copy you bought in the store? Well, I hold on to it for a while, and then, you know, eventually, you, you know, I may I give it to either give it to other people, or I maybe sometimes I get rid of it. Uh-huh. 
Like what? Uh, what? What CD did you just burn? Oh uh, well, I haven't done anything tonight, but you know, it, I did Charlie Parker. I did Errol Garner. The filmmaker? No, Earl Garner, as in... Thin yeah. Blue Line? No, Earl Garner, the jazz uh, musician. He made a movie about jazz? No, that's no. Ken Burns. No, 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 no. I made CDs of Charlie Parker's music. Yes, it, okay, Charlie Parker, jazz, alto saxophone player. Right, Benny Goodman, Benny Billy Goodman. Holiday. And Errol Garner, the, the documentarian. No, Earl he, Garner, the... Musician who did Misty. He did a movie. Wait, the guy who did M Errol Gardner wrote Misty. He wrote right. Mm -hmm. Bef is that before or after he made the Thin Blue Line? I think you're confused. He did that movie, The Fog of War. I never heard of it. It was a documentary about uh, some political dude or something. I don't know. Oh no no well no I. So no, he's a filmmaker, and he wrote the song Misty. He must be loaded. No, he wasn't a filmmaker. He wrote the song Misty, but he wasn't a filmmaker. I saw him win an Oscar like two years ago. I don't know who you mean. I don't watch the Oscars, so I have no idea who won Errol the Oscar. Gardner. No. The documentary. Well, anyway. No, 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 not did... anyway. No, I'm not done here. You're not done here. Uh -huh. He's a he's a filmmaker. Yet you're telling me he wrote the song Misty. No, I, well, I never heard the filmmaker Earl Garner. I heard the musician Earl Garner. Ah, oh, okay. So maybe there's two Earl Gardners. Right. Okay. Fair uh, enough. Oh, now I also did. Uh, let's see who else. Tito Puente and Celia Cruz and. He's good. You know. Right. And the usual, you know. Stuff that I normally would do, you know. Like what? Oh, Chuck Berry, the Ronettes, the Shangri-La. How many Chuck Berry? How many times do you need to burn a Chuck Berry? What are you finding new Chuck Berry stuff? No, I just you need did that one. one album. No, I just did one. Which one? The greatest hits? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Oh, let's see. Who else? The Beach Boys. The no, Beach any Boys. other? No, I don't want to know all 360 CDs. Do you have oh, any, any other it's topic? Interesting. Oh, it's real interesting. Oh, yes. It's real interesting to see what CDs you... Uh, you're probably checking them out of the library. No, I make them. And they're not for sale. Oh, you hear that, people? Not for sale. You cannot yes. buy these CDs that Spike puts together. So I, I thought you might start getting into the mixtape business. Start no. going down to uh, St. Mark's Place with your mixtapes. No. I got a new mixtape. It's got Errol Gardner and Chuck Berry on it. No. The guy's my, trying to my sell a Master never, Killer album. No, my stuff is never for sale. Mm -hmm. They're my prized possessions. Yeah, nothing nothing more prized than a Chuck Berry CD. That's right. Yeah, you can't find that at, like, a drugstore, like, for three ninety nine. Well, you can buy Chenny from the bedroom at a drugstore. Well, thank you, and she is the drugstore, but anyway. Oh, that's a... Okay, on that note, get off my phone. That one... You're not even... You're like Don Rickles five years from now. Like, he's already... Don, Don Rickles is, has a vague, like, light sense of of kind of dementia setting in to where he makes these references that don't exactly pan out. But that one... Jenny from the block... You can buy that at a drugstore. Then again, she is the drugstore. What? Go away.